Hello, all dance friends. Welcome to my studio. I call this the basement dino dungeon. And check this out. Today we will take a look at 50 different sea animals. So let's get started, okay? Okay, guys. So let's get started. The first one right here is actually a very beautiful lobster. So you can see it has two huge pincers or claws. Okay, really beautiful figure. Next. Let's take a look at a jellyfish. I know that jellyfish, they are very pretty looking, but do not touch them because they can be pretty. Is it poisonous or venomous? But you know, you will get hurt if you touch them. So stay away from touching them, okay? Next, what is this? This is a koi fish. And do you guys know that koi fish, they can live up to like 100 to even 200 years old so that's pretty pretty mind-blowing right next up we have a whale shark right here whale shark they are actually very slow swimmers they are a type of filter feeder next up what is this this is a giant squid i mean it looks pretty small but it is actually a figure of a giant squid next let's take a look at this beautiful sally light food crab so it is actually a crab with different colors so you can see it is like orange it is like red it is like purple in the eyes when you flip it over you can see blue on the underside so that is pretty pretty colorful for a crab like this there's so many colors in just in one body next up we have a megalodon as you guys can see megalodon it's a prehistoric shark that is pretty incredible it has multiple rows of teeth all right and it is like so many times bigger than a shark i think it is roughly about time 10 times bigger than a shark that you see nowadays hermit crab right over here wow i remember some interesting facts about the hermit crab but i can't remember but you can see it has a beautiful shell all right hermit crab next we have a seahorse. Do you guys know that the male seahorses are actually the one that look after the babies? Yeah, that's right. It has this really, really long snout that enables it to find its food much more easily. All right. Um, let's see. What is this? This it's a moray eel. Do you guys know that moray eels they love to live and stay in little cracks and holes like in the ocean bed? I've actually went to my sea aquarium and I seen two of them. They were like so thick. Yeah, they were like, you know, just hiding inside this little cave, cave-like structure. Very, very awesome sea animals. We have an octopus right over here. Octopus have eight tentacles. They have like suction cups underneath. They are really, really good um, camouf. They have very, very good camouflaging abilities. They are able to change its color. They are able to change the texture on its body as well. Sawfish right here is actually not a um, shark. It is actually a ray. Yeah. All right. Let's see what else we've got. We have a salmon fish. Salmon is like one of the fish that people love to eat. Yeah, salmon fish. All right, let's move on. We have a clown anemone fish right over here, also known as the clownfish. I mean, if you guys have watched Finding Nemo, you will definitely have seen Nemo, which is also a clownfish, okay? Next, we have a prehistoric sea creature right here. This is not something that you can find nowadays. So this is basically, you know, it dated million years back. It's known as an ammonite. That's right. What else we've got? We have a great white shark. Do you guys know that great white sharks, they have superb sense of smell. Incredible sense of smell. Walrus right over here, these two huge tusks have a very, very cool function. They actually stick the tusks into the bottom of the ocean bed while they search for scallops. Yeah, that's right. So these two huge tusks are basically to anchor to the floor bed of the ocean yeah to keep themselves really you know stable and firm next we have a white whale it's not a beluga whale this is actually a white whale the beluga whale is right over here so you can see there is a slight difference the beluga whale has a little hump right over here then they are able to use 
echolocation to find its way in the ocean, which is pretty incredible. Next, what else we've got? We have a tiger shark. Yes, a tiger shark. You can see it has like stripes on its body, which sort of like resembles the stripes of a, of a tiger. All right. Next, we have a blue spotted ray. It's a kind of ray with plenty of blue spots on its body. But at the end of the tail, there are no spots, but you can see that there is like a line of um, blue across the entire tail. So that's pretty, pretty cool. This is a frogfish. And frogfish, um, they have the ability to sort of like walk on the ocean seafloor. So pretty incredible as well. Manatee are often, you know, referred to as mermaids. Yeah, I think they are herbivores, if I'm not wrong. Next, we have a catfish. Can you guys see all the different whiskers? This whiskers can actually help it to find its way in the very muddy and murky water. Yeah, that's right. Let's see what else we've got. A goblin shark. I think the goblin shark is one of the rarest shark that you can ever find. I think there are like less than 10 or 20 recorded experiences with goblin sharks. Um, they have this very, very weird mouth. Uh, once they want to like attack or bite, the mouth will actually, you know, move up, move forward, and it looks something like this. Yeah, when it's closed, they look more like a normal shark. So pretty scary looking, but very, very hard to find. There are even not many videos on the goblin shark out there. Another shark, which is known as the basking shark, is a filter feeder. So they basically open its mouth really wide, just takes in all the water and filter out all the, smooth all the small food particles like shrimp and krill. Yeah, so that's basically how they feed. All right, we have another great white shark right over here. You guys should know this. And not a beautiful whale shark, okay? So whale shark, they are very docile. They, they feed on krill and shrimps. And um, they're very slow swimmer, like what I've mentioned just now. Humpback whale, there is actually some facts right here, so let's read them together, shall we? Alright, let's do a zoom in on this. Humpbacks were once hunted extensively and they remain endangered. Okay, okay, that's cool. Next up, um, we have a mink whale right over here. I don't have much facts about this whale, but you can see the body patterns are very different from what you can find from a harmback whale or a grey whale. You can see like, you know, spots and patterns across the body, which looks very, very nice, I must say. Pilot whale right over here. They always reminds me of the beluga whale because of the little hump on its head. Yeah, but I don't think they're related. We have a lobster right here. Okay, another interesting fact about this whale, okay, this Nair whale right here, which is a dolphin, this spear is actually an overgrown tooth. Yeah, pretty cool, right? It's a tooth. Yeah. Next, we have a um, right whale. So why is this whale named the right whale? Is because they seem to be the whale that um, is the right way to hunt. So basically, when you hunt them, the body will just float on the water, which is which makes it easier for um, you know the farmers to, to hunt them. Yeah, but I don't think there's any right way to hunt a whale. I, I, I know that hunting whales is it really sounds very sad to me. Okay. Next we have a sperm whale. I always recognize this whale by the shape of its head. It's very squarish looking. So yeah, this definitely it's one of the whales that you can easily recognize it. Right here, we have a say whale, all right? Over here, you can see it has patterns and spots on its body. This is a Blaine Views Big Whale, another really interesting looking whale. You can see it has like two little, two little knobs in the arms right across the face, okay? Another sperm whale right over here. Let's read some facts about a sperm whale. Sperm whales can dive deeper than 3,000 feet and um, hold their breath for 90 minutes, which is pretty incredible. And here we have another whale shark. All right. This is the orca, also known as the humpback whale. They are actually known as, uh, I mean, also known as the killer whales because they can actually take down whales. I'm not kidding you. They are pretty incredible, very aggressive. They are the apex predators of the ocean. 
another um, manatee right over here. What is this? This seems to be a... Um, I'm not too sure. It seems to be a grey wheel. Hammer, hit shark. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, you can see. You can easily recognize this by the shape of the head, which looks like a hammer. And do you guys know that the position, the positioning of the eyes actually enables them to look at a wider angle. And the function of this head is basically to press down on the prey while they feed on it. Which is pretty cool. So another all car right over here, the killer wheel. And uh, what is this? This is a bull shark, I think. Or is it a great white? Oh, this is also a great white. And this is a Genghis River dolphin, which looks very adorable. Right over here, we have a sand tiger shark. As you guys can see, the body color actually resembles the color of sand, which is like a bit brown in color with some brown spots as well. This is a bull shark which is apparently more aggressive than a great white. There are actually more reports of attacks on humans of a bull shark as compared to a great white. What is this? This is a pygmy sperm whale which is a very interesting species of whale because they are not as big as a grey whale or you know humpback whales. They are more of the size of a dolphin. Another squid right over here and our last figure of the day is actually another great white shark which is my most favorite sea animal. I want you guys to comment down below which is your most favorite sea animals, okay? Let's you know down below. Um, that's all. I'll see you guys in the next video, okay?